everybody. Hello, hello, welcome. It is Wednesday, June 17th. You're not even on the air yet. Hold on. Wednesday, it is the Gear Swap Podcast. We got all the hosts here. We've got cameras. You should know I don't turn on the cameras until I start talking. You guys have been here for 19 weeks. You know how it goes. I am Broads. I have Birdie and I have 10K here. We are now coming to you in wonderful HD from our new home, complete with bookshelves. Oh, like they can barely see them, but yeah, they're there. They're there. Also, also, you failed to introduce Wednesday correctly. <laughs> it's Wednesday, my dudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you're cool, you understand that reference, and if you're not, well, your mom's a hoe. Oh, hello, everybody. This is, apparently your hair is new, Natalie. Congratulations on that. That's amazing. Yeah, I never wear down for the podcast. Thanks! I showered! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Christian. You are a good host, giving us those Bezos bucks. If you are watching, yeah, thank you guys for being here. where they came from. Go ahead, hit follow, hit subscribe. I know most of you guys already are. We appreciate your support. Uh, we've got a busy week. We're back almost to normal here. I got shadows of Natalie behind me on the wall. That's going to be fun. Um, can I like, like... Yeah, you could put like... <laughs> you could put make a, a dog. Make, like a dog. make a dog. Make a dog. Make a dog. How do you do that one? I forgot. Is it? Is it like... That's the gorilla. Oh, that's a bunny. God. That's, that's cute. I like bunnies. Yeah, bunnies <laughs> one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, so we got a full show coming up. We're going to be talking about top 10s. We've got, oh, speaking of that, I have to fix the top 10 list. So while you guys Uh-oh. are talking, I have to go do that because. Wait, I have a soundbite for this. Uh-huh. God bless. I just saw Sean. Still a piece of garbage. Message. You a real one. You understand? I love you. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Um, so I'm going to go get the other scene set up here for when we get to the top 10s. Um, I will take my weak comments last. I just got a wonderful haircut done by Miss Natalie. Thank you very much. Oh, looks very sweet. Good. Check Hello. out Fresh that receding hairline, though. <laughs> oh my. Fresh cut, G. Oh no. Please hold the applause. I did oh, the best no, that I could. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Um, cool. Uh, one of you, go. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do it. All right. So basically, do I sound okay? First of all, sweet. Okay. Second thing, how my week went. I'm quiet compared to the others, says my Steve. Um, Uh, He might mean me because I have my microphone turned down. Oh, okay, cool. That works too. But basically my week, I have not gone to work because one of my coworkers caught the virus. My partner got sick. Therefore, it links to me. Everyone thinks I'm sick. So I kind of have to wait for the go ahead to go back to work. But so i'm basically just living how i was until i until i went to work there mm-hmm. so lots and lots of video games and lots and lots of anime especially so, anime are you gonna get tested or are you just waiting for your coworker to see what his test is i'm waiting for the coworker. okay roger dodger that's unfortunate god if only we lived in a country where we had a system where we could actually test. yeah oh yeah I don't be he liking went, it. He's just, he's just waiting on the email that says positive or negative. Doesn't that come like the next day usually? Yeah, and today is the next day. Oh, gotcha. So he's so. genuinely just waiting. Mm-hmm. He's genuinely just waiting. Okay. <laughs> is is it my turn? Do I gotta? Yeah. yeah, go for it. Um, let's see. We went to IKEA this week. For the bookshelves that we have now Furniture that was shopping. great felt cool to go to ikea i really liked going to ikea so it was a fun time we went to breakfast outdoor over the weekend found a really good breakfast place by our new apartment so that's go off queen they have delicious pancakes and if any of y'all know me and how picky i am about pancakes you know that that means a lot. Um, what else? What else? I don't even know. That's pretty much it, honestly. It hasn't been that interesting. I've done a lot of cleaning, a lot of organizing, a lot more unpacking, productive. Um, yeah, that's about it.
the they were awful pancakes. The second place we went to, pancakes bad. Oh, really damn bad. it. I muted myself. I had Sean pancakes says too. they can't hear butts. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, because we're in the same room and I don't have the good microphone set up yet for her, I have to, like, mute my mic. Otherwise, it'll double pick her up when I'm talking. Sorry. Um, yeah, the pancakes are good. I'm on keto. I'm dieting again. I've been dieting for another week and a half. Um, last week was rough. I think I finally figured out my calories for this week because yesterday I was grumpy as fuck. Today I'm doing much better. So, success. There we go. Um, thank you. Thank you. I kind of lost my... How was that? Flicker. Anyways, um, I kind of lost my way during the quarantine because I was like, food feels... Let's feel good. So we ate the thing. <laughs> we ate all of the things. <laughs> you're an asshole, but I love you. <laughs> um, other than that, my week was pretty low-key. Work has been kind of busy, but not. Um, ben, it's nice to see you again, buddy. It's been a while since we saw you in the chat. Welcome back. Hey, what's up, um, Ben? We've got lots of fun stuff to talk about today. Hopefully, the rest of the show goes off without a hitch or a glitch. Or snitch. Yeah, snitch. fuck them snitches. Snitches get snitch. stitches. I'm gonna cut you. All right. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All anybody, right. Anybody in the chat would like to give us some some weekly updates? I'll take a couple minutes. See how everyone else is doing. How are you, my good friends out in that combat world? I want to hear from you. How is how is that community? We tell. We miss how you is, much. How is everyone? Why is my camera auto focus? Okay, I'm gonna put what? some out there. <laughs> If anybody knows the Microsoft Life camera on Windows 10, if you can. Turn it's me, off bro. Of, oh, is it really you? Yeah, look, she's going to put her hand up at all, focus on her. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm telling you, it's me being behind you. It's like there's more than one person oh, here. Oh, it's trying to focus on you. Okay. You're um, not alone? <laughs> right. Oh, awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. I'll just try to block you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, it's fine. Dang. See you. I see you. I can see you. But I won't. It likes Birdie more. I mean, what's not to like? <laughs> That's accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> look, at this, look at this mug. I mean, really, it's Ours, all here. Thermit, how are you guys? Thanks for coming by today, as always. Patrick, you Diana, have recovered hello. from Saturday. Yeah, me too, man. I recovered from Saturday too. <laughs> yeah, I hope that uh, hope my legs hold up. That's a surprise for me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm worried. I think we've waited long enough. Let's get into the top tens. How does everyone feel about that? Oh yeah, top tens. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? Well, gotta make sure I'm on the correct one. I miss a... you too, Liana. I just want to like. Yeah, we're on the right one. Mm, you know, some big old, big old hug. <laughs> That's amazing. I am okay. Whatever. We're going on top ten time. Like, I, I need graphics and stuff. We should have can a button for this. Push this away from me. I feel like I'm so close in the actual. Oh, that's better. Cool. Yeah. So, top tens. Did I just hear myself through your microphone? That's great. Uh, top tens. We have. Wow, that's embarrassing. I didn't even look at that. So we have top tens from all of the locations this week. All of the locations. <laughs> uh, you'll see. It's Can't funny. Wait. It's funny. Can't wait. <laughs> Um, oh, so we're going to okay. start with Madison. For the folks in Madison, let's get some feedback in the chat as we do this here. I'm going to get really close in here to the camera because I'm blind as fuck and I need to see. All right, so 10th place this week is Angela, Ella, Manila. I got to be careful what I'm about to say here. I was going to say Monoly. Oh, that could be. Hold on. Stop there. Okay. I got the big Why can't it just be like Manel? Oh, it's Manel with 5,800 points, 161 kills, and a KDR of 127. 
Uh, ninth place is Max 1 million from Madison, wow. of course. 6,200 points, 108 kills. ER of cool. 1, 61. Cool. My mic is still very low. Hold on, let me, let me try to let me adjust this. Hello, hello, there we go, that's better. All right, Max 1 million. Uh, number eight is Stormy Dungeon, coming back from the first place, getting back where he belongs, 7,300 points. KDR of 268. In sixth place, we got Care Losser. Carloser? Oh, it's Carloser. Car Carlos Sr., I bet that's what that is. Uh, 7,600 points. See, this is what I do when I'm playing ice, or when I'm playing ice, when I run ice. I just, like, work my way through the names. We'll get there eventually. Uh, KDR 151. Sixth place is Zephyr with 7,700 points and a KDR 2.4. Fifth place, Employee Madison with 7,800 points, holding down the fort with a KDR 161. Fourth place, Reaper's Death, 8,400 points. The man that doesn't know where the brake pedal is with 261 KDR. Third place is Palupez. Palupez? Palupez. Uh, 10,000 points with a score of 242. <coughs> Alive, tried to kill me. Second place is Mac 20 with 12,000 points. I'm going to try and get some more of this chat on here somewhere. I don't know where to put it. Uh, we'll just put it over here. Um, Mac 20 with 12,600 points. KDR 145. First place. Madison employee, 19,000 points with a KDR of 185. Let's give a round of applause for Madison. F's in the chat. F's in the we chat. Love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, so we got a pretty diverse top 10 there. Got about half of them are regulars, other half are pretty new people. And then we got employees. Hey, they're holding it down. <laughs> they are. Um, highlights there. We got uh, Pelopez. Who's Pelopez? Someone, anybody from Madison know who that is? That's a new name to me. Uh, 14 kill streak was highest. Uh, tied there with Manel. Oh, that's right. They have the saw up there. Oh. Oh yeah. You got any you got any saws up there? You got any saws? You got, you got any saws? You got games on your phone. Oh dang. <laughs> um Yeah, some pretty cool, pretty cool kill streaks. Um we've got some pretty diversity. Pretty good diversity. No huge KDRs, so everyone was pretty much fighting. Uh people just missing the list there. Burger Boy Hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, Alpha? What in the world are you doing? I don't you know. sound like you are in first grade again and you don't know how to sound out your letters. Hi, my name is Jared. I'm 19 years <laughs> old and I know how to fucking read. <laughs> uh, and then in 13th place, Chase Koch. Uh, so congrats to everybody. Uh, I don't see anybody up there that's getting new uh, new wings. So um, we'll do new wing updates once we get a full. full I, I just I just want to full stop really quickly. I don't want to overanalyze, but like, what if that name's actually Chase Cock? So but you it, can't. It's a possibility. So if that's correct, does that mean that we can call the the giant chicken industry the cock chicken industry? Oh my gosh! All right, we've gone off the rails. You've never heard of the Koch, uh, the Koch brothers? No. Good, they're like fucking not. pieces of shit. Anyways. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Controversial opinions on the podcast. We're yeah. not new to this. I do not smell burnt toast, but I do smell. <laughs> Waukesha, because they don't shower. Um, Waukesha Ooh. is next on the top 10. Uh, in 10th place. Does somebody else want to do this? Honestly, no. <laughs> I only got... What's the point of me? What? All right, Christian, you take this top 10. All right, Can so you see it? Right, uh, yeah, I see it. I see All right, it. I'll okay. bring it back up. 
So top 10, right above me, I'm in 11th place. I'm really mad now. Uh, number 10, we've got Egg, th egg Thrower. Oh, God, I almost forgot my English. Egg Thrower, Mwakasha with tw what, 12... 12,000, I almost said 1,200. 12,000. Yeah. And a KD of 2.33. And then ninth, representing Chicago, we got Hover Vibes with also 1,200 points. That's my baby. 1.18. Shout out to Chicago out there. We got some more Chicago people up there. Next, Commander Irwin coming in strong. Eighth place with 1,300. Wait, 13,800 points. Wow, sorry. And a KDR of one. Perfect one. Perfect. And then seventh place, we got the Owl. Oh, I can see ahead that we have all the scouts here. Seventh mm -hmm. place, we have the Owl with 14,200 points and a KD of 1.2. And then sixth place, we got Levi Ackerman with a score of 14,900 points, a little bit shy of 15,000. Gotta love the scouts, man. Yeah. Gotta love them. Is Chris? Oh, I just, just heard Chris in the background. Just ignore it. He's okay. fine. Okay. David with a KD of 1.1 on the board. And then at fifth place, halfway through, we got sixes and sevens here. With 16,000 points and a KD of 1.51. It was really fun playing with all of you. And then <laughs> in fourth place, we got Unicorn Rage with 23,300 points and a KD of 1.84. And then third, and then now we're hitting the top three. Third place with six and sevens himself. Up on the board with 27,300 points and a KD of 2.47. God damn, I think I contributed to that. Did nothing yeah. to die every time I saw him. And then second place, we got Sniper 17 with 30,700 points and a KD of 2.49. And I'm at back. number one for Waukesha, welcome back, Chris. Number one for Waukesha, we have, dang, I, I forgot my English, Delirium with 33,013 points and a KD of 2.79. I said this already, but I'll say it again. It was really fun playing out there. It was my first time. I do not regret it at all. And it's in 11th so... place is 10K. Damn, no, that sucks thanks. to just barely make it. It's so nice to see our guys up there again. Yeah, so... Sorry That's that I way. totally fucked that up and hit the the <laughs> ceiling fan with my uh, my grip there. Thank you, Liana. <laughs> yes, thank you, Liana. You uh, reminded me that I have a uh, a background until we can fix our focusing issues. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, scouts are practicing. It looks like. Did we talk about that already? Yeah. Practicing their shit talking. I want to yeah. I want to say thank you to Roberto for taking the time to drive me out there. Like he picked me up from home, said don't even worry about it. And then, oh, oh, that's we, awesome. We love to see it. Community so, so strong. Hell yeah. Uh, it's gonna be. Hell yeah. It's gonna it be so great, great to beat them in the next tournament. Oh, all right. It's a pit. Come on. Yeah. Where is Let's the next? Let's be nice. Tournament? No fighting, no biting, you guys. I'm just saying, in all the tournaments that we played in, the Pew Pew have only lost to one team, and that was Team Don't Look Down. Oh, yeah. That is tr I was there. I was there. Oh, I'm going to look down. <laughs> I was waiting. Nice. All right. So, congrats to everybody at Waukesha. Uh, people just outside the top 10, we got 10k, like I said before, Powers and Prince Waukesha. Nice. So congrats to everybody there. Great job. Hope everyone was being safe. Was everyone being safe, Christian? Masks? Gloves? It's in, in, in Wisconsin, it's highly encouraged, but not, you don't have to wear them. So a lot of people are just not wearing them. Okay. Fair. Tea. But, just saying. But, 
You could tell we stuck out because we were still wearing our masks every time we walked out the car. Oh, good. Good. Good, good, good. Wonderful. Stay responsible, you guys. Have fun, but stay responsible. Pew safely, my friends. Mm -hmm. That's oh. period. I don't have I don't have the deep enough voice for that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go on to our third location. My combat, not your combat, not their combat. It's my combat. Oh my god. All right, I'm gonna go off myself. I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. I love my job. Yeah. <laughs> Birdie, do you want to do this one or you want me to do it? Uh, yeah. All right. What would you say? <laughs> you, what would you say you do here? Are you kidding, Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm so, so cute. cute. I up the rating of this fucking stream to like a twenty. So <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, fair. Um, tenth place. We have Leon Way, eleven thousand points. KDR two point oh. Ninth place. Snake twenty three. Twelve thousand points. KDR one twenty eight. 8th place, Dark Sniper 1, 13,000 points, 662 KDR. 7th place is Tet. Faith? Faith? 10th place is 10 p.m., 14,006, with a KDR 162. 6th place, Topher Dude 99, 18,000 points, with a KDR of 327. Fifth place is Golden Grizz, 23,000 points, KDR 269. Fifth place, fourth place, Meth Maro, 32,000 points, KDR of 845. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Third place, Kill Switch, 34,000 points, KDR of 247. Second place, Tyler, 2765. 34,000 points, KDR 303. And first place for the weekend, Michigan Paintballer. 08, 42,000 points, KDR of 238. Dang, those guys like to play laser tag. Oh, yeah, laser tag. That's the T. That is a stupid amount of kills and points. That is the T, sis. Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Um, highest kill streak looks to be 24, shared with Paintballer and Dark Sniper. No, Meth Morrow, 27. I'm dumb. I don't know how math oh, works. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it, Meth Morrow. Chris, you gotta let him have something, man. <laughs> uh, we got some, got some good ratings there. Just outside is one of our, our big contributors there is Thermit. We love that. Just missing out at 11th place. And then we got Razor and Lord, Lord Shanka. Oh, he he hello. What are you doing, sir? You can't, <laughs> you can't be doing a stream <laughs> run by and not get grabbed. <laughs> oh, You're not God. supposed to be up there. Yeah, we always forget Stark Sniper is also Chris. Yeah, true. Why, why, is, why is he still playing under two accounts? I thought he was only playing under one for his bum leg. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not... Do what you want. I'm just wondering. I think he's doing it so he gets two people in the top ten. I think that's what I heard somewhere along the line. Oh, really? Well, yeah. T, go off, sis. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thermit was out of state. Okay. Huh. Well, you still ranked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's good. You did your thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, he does it. Oh, yeah, go easy and only get a 6 KDR. <laughs> How foolish of me. Fool. Fool. I did see, by the way, uh, for all the people watching, you already know this probably, but Michigan is already streaming their sessions live. I don't want to talk about it. I'm bitter. I don't want to talk about it. It's awesome. I love it. I'm so happy for you guys. But also, like, I want things, nice things in our location, too. Yes. They don't let us do shit. Yeah. I I began to set that up and then ran into a fucking brick wall, so. Oh, well. Um, but those streams look amazing. Uh, I like how they have the person doing ice actually doing broadcasting, too, at the same time, which is kind of fun. Um... I don't know. It was really fun. I actually watched it for a couple hours this weekend just because I was wanting to get my eye combat fix. That's a great stream. What? What, Who, what are you looking at? I'm staring into the soul of the Michigoons. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my. I don't like that. Why, Why are you like, like you're so squinty? I don't know. What's going on? Is this better? No, it's worse actually. <laughs> Go back to squinty. <laughs> um Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a fun weekend. Um all right, well, we have another location here. Be careful, Be careful we stir back. back. I love you. <laughs> Sorry, continue. That was great. All right, here's our next location. Hi, right, combat. Sh oh. Oh, right. You don't have to fucking rub it in. I miss candy. Like, I miss. Um. Careful. Um, I don't know what else I miss as much as I miss Nancy right now, but it's really in like the top three of things that I could possibly miss. <laughs> it's rough. Well, as we can see, there was a lot of work done on Chicago. Uh, everybody came out, did their best. I think it's best if we just didn't talk about it. Moving on. <laughs> That'd be the best. That'd be the best. All right. Here we have the top 13 for all of the locations worldwide in the last week. We've got 13th place Echo Yacho System. O'Fallon, Missouri, 22,000 points. Did you just... What did you do? What? What did I do? <laughs> Yacho? <laughs> yeah, why? I don't know. Uh, 12th place, Unicorn Range at 23,000. 11th place, Golden Grizz up in Michigan with 23,000. 10th place is Eeks, O'Fallon, Missouri at 24,000. 9th place, Sixes and Sevens, Waukesha, 27,000 points. 8th place, Sniper 17, Waukesha, 30,000 points. 7th place, Smith Morrow, Michigan, 32,000. 6th place, Delirium, Waukesha, 33,000. 5th place, Kill Switch, Michigan, 34,000. 4th place, Tyler, Michigan, 34,000. Third place, Paint Mala. Michigan, 42,000. Second place, I, six, I, IG72. It looks like a six, sorry. Uh, Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. By the way, big congrats to North Carolina for not disappearing. Yeah. Added big to hot. the fucking road trip. We got to get out there before they close again. Stop, stop that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> They're going to be great. They're going to be a strong business. They're in so it for the long haul. I just got his copyright claimed. Um, <laughs> and first place, I think for the second week in a row, possibly Big Fat Reaper for Lake Charles, Louisiana. 72,000 points. Congrats to that person. Sick. Top 10. Go oh, off. The continuous top 10 will continue once all of the Midwest See, locations are open. I just want to take two seconds. <laughs> this is why I don't read these, because I really would have read that as Lake Charles, Los Angeles, which doesn't make any sense. So. That's what I said at Waukesha nonstop. I just saw LA. I was like, oh, Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I can't be trusted to do that job. <laughs> I was like, since when did LA have an eye combat? Hey, what's up? My name's Jared. I'm 19, and I don't know how to fucking read. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bruh. All right, moving on. <laughs> we are going to have a chat here about safe cracker and sniper. <laughs> We're doubling it up this week. Doubling up. Anybody wants to give feedback, please put it in the chat. If you want to spend some channel points, you can highlight your message so we can see it better. Um, we're going to play videos for each one, so I'm not going to make Christian like awkwardly give us the rules for each game anymore, even though that was like really fun. Um, <laughs> if there's anything that we like around here, it's uh, making fun of people. Just kidding, we're not bullies. It's all in good fun. All, we all love each other enough it's to do that. all in the hips. all in the hips. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I am going to get ready to play the first video. Bring it around town. Bring, Bring it around, around town. Town. All right. <laughs>
Our first mission we're going to be talking about today is Safe Cracker. I am muting the host audio and we are going to watch this video. Enjoy. This is mission Safe Cracker. All players have 100 health and unlimited respawns. Teams must make their way to the safe located between the guard towers. The code to the safe is 1776. You must grab your team's colored glow stick. Green for the camo team, blue for the black team. Take your key to the lockbox located on the second floor of the clock tower. The key must be carried, no pocketing or throwing. If killed, place the key at your feet. The first team to unlock the safe and blow the air horn wins. It's over because of you. Right. It's yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. So that is Safe Cracker. It's an objective game. Uh, it's only played at a few locations. The idea, as you saw in the video, is you get the get the key, unlock the air horn. And you blow it to win. You blow it yeah. as hard and as quickly as you can. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. right. All right. So, uh, show of hands, who has played Safe Cracker? Oh, cool. We've all played it. Awesome. So we can all talk about it. Yay. Yeah. Um, I have some basics that I'd like to go over. Then I'll pass it off, as I always do. Um, I just moved further away from my microphone. I hope you can still hear me. Um, Safe Cracker, I really enjoy focusing on um, securing the middle of the map. Uh, basic strategy for me, because you're never going to get a new player that's going to like actually get the key, I don't think. Um, but if you put enough bodies in the middle of the map, it'll make it really hard for the other team, I think. So... I know that this map is... I've played it primarily on... Actually, I think I've only played it on Madison. Um, Waukesha has never had the safe available. Um, so I like to hang out in the middle. I like to tell people, you know, go in the middle, just kind of hold the tent, and just do your best. If you die, just keep heading back there. Um, I am going to increase the size of the chat for people talking right now. Because we got some good feedback on the coming in from Steve, so that cool. Um, how about you guys? What do you think? What do you think about this game? Uh, Christian, you first. I put it in the chat already, but the the one time I did play it, um, I was the only one going for the safe, so like there was that. Uh, I never forgot the code, thankfully. Uh, when that it was funny because when that game was over, like that half. Because, you know, we swap sides and do it again. Uh, they The whole team let, flat out just yelled out, so who remembers the code? <laughs> and then I was I was like, Yikes. really? Is that why I was the only one going for the safe? Because no one, everyone else forgot. And then, <laughs> yeah. So. Damn it, it's a disaster. Yeah, it's a disaster. Uh, but, yeah, it was just fun running the safe as much as I could. Uh, Ooh, it was fun playing, yeah, playing objective, you know. Never lose sight. Never yeah. lose sight mm -hmm. of that. We'll bring up Steve's comments in a second here, but Purdy, what do you feel? Um, I played Safecracker all of, uh, what, like three times? But, well, we played for the beta. We played, oh. I, okay. I don't remember what time it was that I got the win for our team at all, but I know I've played three different times. I played for the beta, and I've played twice just being in Madison. That was the only location I played it at, though. Um, and my one comment is that there is nothing more satisfying, and there is no objective game ends more satisfying then when you get to blow the horn to signal that it's over. <laughs> it is the feeling of peace and serene that you cannot find even in meditation. I stand by that. And that is pretty deep. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's great. Like, like that, that moment of just like picking up the glow stick and being like, there's no way I ain't finna lose. 
it's a good one. I actually also distinctly remember not being o- able to open the lockbox, which was terrifying. <laughs> I, know I, that I, twisted, I twisted it, I twisted it the wrong, wrong way, and I was like, uh, uh, it's not opening. And the, and the team leader was like, the other, other way. way. <laughs> like, oh, well. Yeah, they have a bad habit of not relocking it, too. So you think you're opening it, but you're really locking it. So that's fun. Maybe, Maybe that's, that's what happened. I don't, I don't know. Either, either way, way, it's one of my favorite games. It's so, it's so fun. fun. Nice. Nice. So uh, Steve's comment in the chat, we'll start that off with some advanced strategy. It says, if you take the clock tower with two to three good players, your team won't lose. Which is very accurate, because there is that second half of the game where you have to get to the air horn. True. And if, if you get your team upstairs, especially if you're patient and you don't peek, it's really hard to kill people, because they always have the advantage from that staircase. That Thanks. staircase is hell to try to attack up. True. True. You effectively need, like, four people, guns blazing at all times, going up those stairs. Correct. <laughs> and you have to respawn, like, four times. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if you are quick enough, you can probably get to the safe pretty early in the game to unlock it. Um, the hard part is, I know they kind of they frown upon this. I think it might actually be against the rules up there, but um, I know some people have done this where they'll put the code in, unlock it, close it, and then like punch a bad number in before they leave. So that the next person that shows up, if they just punch the code in, it's going to give an error because it's not right, technically. Uh, I think that that's not allowed. Really? Oh. Um, I think if a team leader sees that, they will yell at you. <laughs> a stern <laughs> talking to will be had. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that save is oh, rough. Um, Steve, if you're in the chat right now, where did they move the save to? Because I think that they made it more even, because it used to be where it was on the uh, officer's quarter side, I believe. You had to, like, go around the wall to actually get it if you were coming from the motor pool. Um, I could be wrong, but I think I remember that they said that they changed it so that one box was flat now, so that both teams are equally trouble. That's cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm Mm-hmm. Sick. Yeah. Um, I don't know if have, you guys have any advanced strats that you would do. Why is my dot showing? Get rid of that. Um, for me personally, personally I'll, I'll just like say, say no because honestly, I I, ha- I haven't gotten that far into like figuring out the logistics of the gameplay for that i'm just kind of like generally what i do is i'll go towards the people who are like trying to unlock the lockbox first and kind of just like stay back be support for those people and then generally like if it the they get the key out i just kind of try and follow those people because like if they drop it they get shot whatever i can always just pick it up rally take it as far as i can and then kind of go from there i just tend to play like back defense a little bit support play other teammates that's just kind of where i feel like i help the most yeah that makes sense that like fits your play style perfectly though christian thinking (laughs) since i only played it once Oh, that's fair. And I was running, like, basically a noob strategy of just endlessly going for the safe until you get your key. Yeah. And the fact that I was the only one doing it. Um, I mean, it's not a bad strategy. It just it takes a lot of... It's a lot of... Honestly, after, like, my first time playing it, I I remember, like... I was part of the people who were going for the safe, and it was kind of like three of us who were like going after it, one after another, like dying, going after it, dying, going after it type of thing. And somewhere in the middle of that, I was like, this is not my job. <laughs> like, this is not where I, where I have a strong role. <laughs> I need to find something else to do. <laughs> yeah, you gotta let the juggernauts go after it. <laughs> right. <laughs> um yeah i don't really have any super advanced strategy for this uh i like steve's idea of getting getting a team upstairs because yeah you just can't win if you even if you get it over there and if you hold the top you can pretty much rain rain down hell on the support or on the other team's 
like set up lines to try to get to the safe because you have a pretty clear view i think all the way across um it's a hard game to win it's very hard mm -hmm. um i like it though it's fun it's a challenge it's different we have no way of playing it in chicago <laughs> We have zero like ways to play real like neutral objective games. I don't believe it, but also, all right. Well, yeah, that's a good conversation. How would you set it up in Chicago? Like, where would you put it? <laughs> I, didn't I didn't say, say I had the answers. answers. I just, I just said, said I'd like to try. To try. <laughs> right. <laughs> but okay, personally though, like actually serious like opinion i think that one it doesn't make any sense not to try i think that just like you would in any other field you beta test you see where you can put it you see what works what doesn't work and if it ends up being something that's like a total failure you can't do it at all then you don't but also like i don't understand why you wouldn't at least try like you can look at both fields and say no it's not gonna work all day long but like how do you know if you don't experiment that's the whole point of beta testing and it's a really fun game so why wouldn't you give it the opportunity god nick i love you you know <laughs> yeah we got we got troll nick in the chat right now <laughs> all of them in the showers just all of them in the shower. i mean i it guess it becomes a party shower it does become a party shower um i i guess that you could put maybe on alcatraz put the key like downstairs and then the horn upstairs sure like, why bottom not shower, i was gonna say the other yeah. Oh, start upstairs and have them go downstairs? Mm-hmm. Upstairs is where the regulars are going to be anyway, so I'll just send some new people up there to throw them off. I just think that it doesn't make any sense like, to just be like, it's, it's not, not going to work. work. Like, we okay. don't know. We haven't yeah. tried it. That's right. My only concern is on our field, we have the way that both fields are set up, you can disappear from an area really fast because there's so many walls. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you if you were to say grab the key out of one of the rooms, all you have to do is head back towards your base, and you're not gonna run into an enemy. Where? So, like, if you if you go to either the shower or the center guard tower, and yeah. you were to get wherever the key is out of that room, like, you could just effectively like if you're downstairs, you just walk back towards your spawn. Why are you assuming that there aren't going to be other people from the team there if like yours for the same reason that you're saying that other people are going to be going around to stop you? No, I I get it. I'm just saying like in most sessions I find you can easily retreat away from wherever you're going. At least I can say that about literally anywhere. Like I don't see like I don't understand that as a point for like why it wouldn't work. I guess. I don't know. There's just lots of corners that you can just dip around and, like, you're out of sight. It's true. It's not like on Madison's like field where, like, you have to traverse the center of the map, which is wide open. Like, even if you go straight back to the spawn on Madison, you have to cross a wide open space. Right. But we're talking about players that, one, know our field already. So they know that you can do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they would already play to the to the I don't want to say objective because that's not what I mean, but like play to the guard towers. Sure, <laughs> yeah, but that's still not what I'm talking about. No, well, you're just you're also just really like it's very general what you're saying. You're like they can dip around corners, okay, but like anybody can counter that like if they know where the key is supposed to be they know where people are going anybody can counter and go in those directions okay that's fair like i i just personally don't think there's an argument against it until we've tried it and we know for sure there is no way to play it and it's fair yeah that's fair okay reasonable i like it so I hear this game can be played at Waukesha. Yeah, I ran into the safe on accident. <laughs> oh, they have it back up now? Yeah, the safe, yeah. Isn't safe it like is in the mansion or something? Yeah, safe is still in the mansion. And then you have to bring it over to the upstairs? Wait, where does it have to go? Where's the... I oh, no you probably idea. don't know. I think, yeah. I think to win that one, you have to go upstairs on the second race platform? 
which is like super lopsided toward the embassy because the staircase faced the embassy. Um, but yeah, I'd like to play it up there. I think it'd be fun. Mansion, the mansion. Uh, I see some stuff in the chat here. Ben is saying to have the team start on opposite sides. I'd like that idea. Huh. Um, but you're going to have a lot of confused people. Um, Wait, say that, that again? So he's saying, like, if you are on the bus stop side, instead for that game, you start on intake, but you have to respawn back at bus stop. So, like, you're going toward each other at the start instead of coming from your spawn. So it just puts people on the other side of the map right away, basically. Huh. That's kind of interesting, though. Wow. I mean, they'll have confused people, but it's not going to be any more confused than they would be with, like, other complicated games we play. Yeah. Like, that kind of just... Yeah, I, I know, like so. it. I do like it, though. Hey, Fern. Got a Fern in the chat? Fern, yeah. All right. Um, unless anyone else has some comments from the chat, we're going to go and do... Uh, we're going to talk about Sniper. Sniper, oh... Oh, Sean says safe cracker like jug where one team has to attack the safe. Um, oh, I think that just totally changes the game then. Yeah. You're basically playing like Rush at that point, but with two objectives. Um. Ooh, bless me. Birdie is furiously typing over there. Everything okay? That is... Um, doing some research. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Doing some research. Um. Maybe big news for Madison. What? Ooh, What's going no, on, Fern? What's up? What's up? You gotta tell us now. Build the beans. You already said it. You can't be unsaid. Oh, well, he's typing. We're going to go ahead and play the video for Sniper. You guys ready to move on to Sniper? Shall we? All right. Switching over for Sniper. Muting everybody. We're playing the video. This is Mission Sniper. All players have 50 health and unlimited respawns. Each player will be given a sniper rating. Sniper rating is calculated by accuracy and kills. You gain points for every kill. Every missed shot will result in losing points. Team score is an average of the player's sniper rating. Score can change based off of your accuracy. Alright, so that is Sniper. Um, yeah, Sniper, easy game. One shot, one kill. Accuracy is all that counts. Super easy game to play. Mm hmm. Very easy. The best. Great for kill streaks. Great for playing Legendary. Mm hmm. Um, basic strategy. Basic strategy. Oh, um. Go slow. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. Very valid. I Very have, valid. I have, I have been known to tell people in the past if they don't know a hundred percent they're gonna hit somebody, don't shoot. Exercise patience. And also, like, actually flip your gun to single fire. I don't, like, some people, like, I get it, like, they, they like what they like. I don't really get it.